Hey, first of all, you decided and you've announced that you're running for ANC president in December. Why? Well, uh, I've been nominated uh, by the branches. They've indicated that they want to see me uh, occupying that position. And as part of the uh, approach to this whole matter, I have to indicate my readiness and my acceptance of that. I believe that uh, I have a role to play in uh, assisting the organization to rid itself of divisions in fighting and build unity, but also to unite everyone around the program of renewing the organization around its values so that we can deal with problems of uh, you know, irregularities and fight corruption, particularly ensure that there's clean governance as well as building the economy. So I believe that there's a huge contribution that needs to be made in that regard. Okay, but sir, uh, your competition includes uh, current South African Deputy President. It also includes uh, Nkozana Dlamini Zuma. Who do you think can win? Do you really think you can win? Well, um, I believe that uh, I have the uh, the right qualities to be able to make it on the job and so I've given the branches of the ANC the opportunity to select the best amongst us. Uh, will you be able to keep the party together? I believe so. <clears throat> if you look at uh, uh, my focus is uh, talking about building unity, stopping the infighting, and uh, also reviving the organization around its uh, founding values of service to, uh, you know, to society. I believe that's where we need to focus quite strongly. But if you look, I've also worked uh, in a similar role in the past when uh, I worked with the uh, provincial, uh, uh, um, uh, provincial leadership in the province of Kwazulu Natal. We were able to take a lot of lessons of how to deal with factions, how to deal with divisions, and how to unite everyone around ensuring that there's tolerance, that there's, uh, you know, vibrancy in the structures of the ANC that people can criticize, and that criticism must be taken seriously, and that we can renew ourselves through our contact with our con uh, constituents and our, and our people. So I think it's actually quite possible to do it. I'm very um, optimistic sir, about what can be done about the African National Congress. 